What's going on guys? All right, so it's been a few days uh, since I have done a little update or at least any work done to this car and engine. So the wife's at work, uh, I got some time. I'm happy, man. All right, so uh, plans for today. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do the entire timing belt kit. We're gonna take all the whole front end off. Gonna go ahead, we're gonna put everything back on. And with that, we're gonna do the valve cover gaskets, the cam chain tensioner gaskets and the cam plugs in the rear of the head. So yeah, let's do that. Now I'm sure you either have your engine in service position or if you're lucky like me, it's completely out of the car. You don't even have to worry about that. So the second thing we're gonna wanna make sure we do is we're gonna want the engine to be in TDC top dead center, uh, which I'll show you in a second, but once it is in TDC, we're gonna to wanna to lock the crank down and the cams down. So when we do have that timing belt off, they're not gonna move on us. Now to do that, uh, Audi has two special tools. Uh, we're gonna be using the uh, cam lock bar. So that's gonna make sure that the cams don't shift when we do uh, go ahead and take the timing belt off as well as this little crank lock pin tool to make sure that the crank doesn't move. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get these installed first. Of the engine we're going to go ahead and we're going to want to set top dead center so you can do that by just coming over here to the little crank pulley and you're going to want to line these two notches up with this little indentation inside the timing belt cover so once the engine is at top dead center we're going to go ahead and make sure that the uh, crank is locked down and won't move to do that we're going to go ahead and insert this little crank lock tool inside this little hole right here it's an eight millimeter Allen. You're just gonna go ahead and pop that bolt out and then insert this guy. Now that we have the plug removed, we can go ahead and see where the, uh, the little pin is gonna sit in there, inside the crank. So with that, you can go ahead, you can just insert it, and then it should just start to thread in very, very easily until preferably there are no threads left showing. So that's in. You can also get a 10 millimeter socket on here if you want to really go ahead and tighten it down, but it's uh, it's already in there as far as it's going to go. Once we go ahead and get our crank locked down, we can go ahead and take off these three timing belt covers. Now, this one, the driver's side here, I guess if you're in Europe, it'll be the passenger side. But this one's just going to have three clips. So we'll just pop these out. Go ahead and remove that first one. This side, three clips, one on the bottom, as well as the center one, two clips. Once we get that, kind of just take it out. And now we expose our timing system. With the timing covers off, we can go ahead and install our little cam lock bar. Now, forgive me, this one's slightly bent, so. It might take a few tries to get it in, but they should go on relatively easily. There we go. And just like that. So now we know for sure that our crank is not gonna move as well as our cams. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do is take off some of the accessories. We have this little guy pulley for the serpentine as well as the serpentine belt tensioner. This little pulley has three uh, five millimeter Allens. So we're just gonna go ahead and take those off. And then with that, this piece should just pop right out. And I kinda learned my lesson with the car, taking it apart, I'm gonna keep all my bolts together this time. So we'll just lay that off to the side. Next thing we can go ahead and remove this uh, serpent D-belt tensioner. That's just gonna be a single eight millimeter. I'm gonna take this out. And also put that down to the side. Next we can go ahead and take our crank pulley off. That's gonna be eight six millimeter Allens. So 
slide that guy right off. Next thing we're going to want to do is take off this little bracket. This has the snow mount attached to the chassis. Uh, and with that, this is just going to be three 13 millimeter sockets here, here, and here, as well as a little T30 bit right here that attaches to the thermostat housing. Now we can see, clearly see, our tensioner, the tensioner pulley, and whatever little roller this thing is. Don't ask. Okay, so before I go any further with this, now's a good time to go ahead and mark where the cams are in reference to everything else. So I like just take some little, uh, some white out, and I'll just kind of mark it as best as I can. Same with this side. Just so when we go ahead and reinstall it, we kind of have an idea of roughly where everything goes. One thing I did forget to mention, and I do apologize, probably makes it a horrible do-it-yourself video now. You don't want to use this one. Um, go find someone else's video. Um, since we are going to be taking off the cam gears, you're going to want to loosen these two bolts, the cam bolts. Um, you're going to want to do it with the time belt on so that way if you do move the cams while you're loosening them, you also move the crank. Uh, so, okay, so not too familiar on the 4.2s. I know for a fact that the 2.7s, if you wanted to compress this little tensioner, you could just take a, a 8 millimeter Allen, stick it in there, and then you pull down and it will compress this. You insert the timing pin and then that's that. Uh, 4.2s, I'm having a little bit of an issue with that. So we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to go ahead and remove the tensioner. Uh, so. It's just three 10 millimeter bolts. There we go. So the tensioner is removed. Now we let off the tension of the belt. You're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a eight millimeter allen socket and you're going to want to go ahead and loosen this up so that's going to take the slack off on this side and then when we do that this is where the timing belt comes in handy uh, we're going to pop this side off and you're going to notice this cam is going to rotate up about 45 degrees timing belt. With that, if you look at this side, this side's way out of alignment now. It's shot up. This side also moved a little bit, but that's why we marked it with these little whiteout marks. So next thing we can go ahead and do, um, go ahead and take that out. Go ahead and take this tensioner off. That's just going to be a, you guessed it, an eight millimeter. And now, I guess while we're at it, we can go ahead and take off these two rollers on the side. There's going to be two 6mm Allens. Alright, so now's a good time we can go ahead we can take off the thermostat housing. Now, if the car is still, or if the engine is still in the car, you're going to have this attached to a coolant hose, more than likely. Um, so once you go ahead and get that coolant hose removed, it's as simple as taking two bolts out. Very simple, very easy. Uh, just two T30s, one on the top. 
and then one on the bottom. With that thermostat housing comes right off, and now I'll expose our thermostat, which we can just pop right out. The next thing we're going to want to do is take off the cam gear so we can get the two timing covers behind them off. That way we can go ahead and replace, well I'm not going to be doing it, but the, uh, the cam seals as well as the cam chain tensioner gasket on this head. Um, and when we go ahead and take these off, I kind of picked up a little tip from that video JHM put out for the 2.7T timing belt. And that is the washers themselves, they're keyed, but the cam, cam gears are not. They spin freely on the cams. So we're just gonna make sure that we know exactly where it is. And to do that, you can go ahead and etch them like I just showed you. So when we go ahead and reinstall the cam gears onto the cams, we'll know exactly where they go. Go ahead and install our cam cooler on here. Use your little 17 millimeter socket and tighten it up. There's the first one. And then we can go ahead and install it on this. So violent, I swear. Probably breaking something, but it's off. Maybe don't use this tool. Maybe use the actual Audi tool. I don't know. Now that our two sprockets removed, we can go ahead and remove both of these timing covers. It is a mixture of T30s and some 10 millimeter bolts. So just go ahead, grab a T30. We'll do those first. both sides my friend. Okay so we got both sides off exposing our head. Uh, now we can go ahead and take the water pump off. Uh, I believe the stock car comes with T30 uh, little T30 bolts but when I had to go ahead and replace it I just used 10 mil regular 10 mil bolts. So we can go ahead and take those off. And the water pump comes right off. Now, uh, the old water pump is going to leave behind a gasket, and you'll probably have to take a fine razor blade to it. But be very careful because the block is made of aluminum, so you will scratch it with a razor blade. But just make sure you get all the old gasket off, and we'll go ahead and reinstall that bit. So, now that we have everything removed from the front of the engine, uh, now is a good time. We can go ahead and take off the valve cover gasket so we can go ahead and replace everything that we have to replace in there. So we're going to go ahead and get started on that now, I guess, since now is a good time. 